Hello, John. Hello, Alvar. So today we're going to talk about Robert Malley. Robert Malley was a geophysicist. He was a civil engineer. He was an inventor and he was born in 1810. He studied science. Where was he born? He was, he was 18... born in 1810. Oh, right. Okay. And he studied science and maths at Trinity College. At the age of 22, he was elected to the Royal Irish Academy. And on February the 9th, 1846, he presented his paper to the Academy on the dynamics of earthquakes. Okay. So he's regarded as the father of seismology. Okay. And he coined the phrase seismology and epicenter. You often hear the word epicenter in modern times. He is the man who came up with the word epicenter. Okay. But he's towards the center of the of the earthquake. He's the center of the earthquake, exactly. Okay, so he's really kind of famous for doing something in Kalini Beach when he blew the beach up. Okay. <laughs> so what he wanted to do was he carried out an experiment in Kalini Beach and he put kegs of gunpowder into the ground and he wanted to see with the explosion how fast energy would pass through various metals, including rocks and sand. So he himself and his son, they buried the kegs of gunpowder, detonated them, and then they'd done their measurements and they carried out another experiment a year later in Dawkey. Um, and there's, a, there's actually a plaque in Kalani Beach to commemorate Malay's study of uh, earthquakes. Very, very unusual. Uh, well, yeah. What was his name? M A L L E I Malay. Or was it M A L L E T? E T. Is it Malice? It wouldn't be Robert Malice, would it? Well, it sounds like Malin, but then they might have had a, a nice way of that. <clears throat> I remember, so if I remember correctly, it. we we covered Robert Malley in school, um, but he we and they called him Malley, if I remember correctly. Um, in history, we did. Yeah, well, maybe it's, there's no T because uh, sometimes they don't pronounce a T, but it was Malice. But he seemed to be a man. <laughs> uh, now this business of. Burying kegs in in Kaloini Beach. Uh, now that's a stony beach, and uh, I swam in it. And uh, I didn't know Mister Malice or Malay was was at that racket. Now the first thing I wonder is where did he get the kegs of gunpowder? Because uh, that would be um, he must have had some contacts with with the army. Uh, with well, well, not the, the army. Uh, we we didn't, we didn't have an army. It must have been the bridge, uh, because uh, how we got permission to uh, do uh, with 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 kegs or barrels of, of gunpowder, because that would be a very uh, dangerous thing to be handling. Well, I, th I think um, he was he was well got. I mean, he was also responsible for the atmospheric railway. So uh, <clears throat> he has, and then again, it was eighteen forty six when he did this. Um, around that time, of around the time was of the famine. Hold on, what year was it when he when he put that put the put the put the gunpowder along uh, Kaloini Kaloini Strand? Okay, so so that? so before he did the experiment, okay, he presented a paper to the Royal Irish Academy, okay, on the dynamics of earthquakes. That was eighteen forty six. In eighteen forty nine, he blew up the beach. <laughs> Right. Well, now, the first thing is he must have got permission because you can't do things like that because then the police or somebody must have stopped anybody going near the beach. Depends on, well, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is, it is because people, I've seen umpteen people walking on that beach at all hours of the morning and that. Uh, probably they're, what's this, the word, insomaniacs, and they're out there at the crack of dawn, no matter what the crack of dawn is. So I wonder what time of the year he did it. Perhaps it was in the autumn or thereabouts um, for to experiment this business of about earthquakes. Now, it was a very strange thing for anyone to give permission for such a, uh, a stupid experiment, to my way of thinking, because, uh, I mean, if it was just about earthquakes, it there must have been a terrible big hole uh, with the exp uh, an explosion, and rocks must have flew everywhere, and uh, like 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 as if it was an earthquake. Now there would have, would have been even houses them time somewhere, and I just wonder was a witness broken, 
Because uh, that must have been how many how many of these yokes did they put into the ground? I wonder. I've no oh, idea. Put a good few. Hey, I've no idea how many to put in. I know they put a few in. Yeah, well, you see, for to do the experiment that he was doing, he had to put a good few in. Uh, I'd say ten or twenty even, mm-hmm. because uh, the, the the few wouldn't uh, do the the job. And first of all, he, uh, it must have been. How did he, he must have took a fair good hole. They must have been at it for ages because uh, to 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 bury them the way they did. I mean that took quite doing. So they must have had some implement or some other ones doing it. I can't see them being fit to do it to to to, to dig down or to put these these barrels. Now here's and what size. What? Here's something I'm going yeah, to I'm say. I'm thinking to... at the physical end of it. Uh, that, uh, that what size were these yokes, and they must have been fairly sizable, maybe like a like a bin, the size of a bin. They probably and were maybe smaller, but but here, to say, here huh? is an interesting fact, John. Okay, when you think about it, right? When people think of a beach, we always think of sand, but Kalini Beach is full of stones. Now, if you detonate something right. full of stones, they become missiles. So it was actually a very dangerous. Experiment when you think of how stony Kalani Beach is. Well, I mean, exactly, it is stony. It's the worst old beach you could ever have a swim in. I had the misfortune to have a swim there one time. <laughs> and when you go out, you're up to your neck before you can say Jack Robinson. Yeah. And uh, it's not a very pleasant place. People sit in it all right, but you're, who, who wants to be in a rocky, blinking beach? And, uh, and that's what it is, a dreadful beach from that point of view. But with, with what he did there and all those rocks and stones, I mean, the must have been wind is damaged, even in Darky, because that explosion would be would be huge. I have no idea. And uh, it's, it's a wonder, uh, it was, was there this business of uh, economical with the truth? In other words, it did the Free Man's journey, uh, Journal, which was um, a paper at the time, I think a precursor to The Independent, it was called the Free Man's Journal, and I think it might have been established around that time. But there would have been, there might have been some comment from the um, our our nationalist brothers, Maher and all these. They they were about they had a paper, so there must have been some negative comment about that sort of an experiment, uh, because to me it was uh, the height of stupidity to do such a thing. If you wanted to sort of uh, find out about earthquakes. Go for those earthquakes, and, and again, of them, and a lot of people killed. Like so the, yeah, like the Go atmospheric ahead. train. Okay, yeah. this happened in 1846, 1849 is when when he carried out his experiments on the beach, but it happened again in the middle of a famine. All right, so they were spending money as if it went, but you see, this was the elite, if you like, and uh, they, they didn't bother them. As a matter of fact, uh, there was an article in uh, a, a book written just recently, and uh, some reading uh, and uh, Irish Catholic were to read these books, and it was about the times when uh, people were living in very poor circumstances, and the British were uh, um, yeah, ridiculing them and making them out to be sort of irresponsible in this. But it was them that did that, and then the blame, you know. So it was them that that if a person put in a window. Their tax went up or their rent went up. So like they were so evil that it's unbelievable. When the Christian TV order gets gone, we be one of the main things is compensation for the harm that they did. And not alone the harm, the harm they did to this island of saints and scholars, this great education, education that we had here before them savages put their snout into the country and caused such problems and starvation and murder of the innocents. Uh, with uh, with uh, killing priests and all the rest of it, and turning their churches into something like a den of iniquity, uh, with with the tabernacles and that. So, like they've done such evil, and they're still at it. Wherever they went, they made trouble. So this business of this fella, uh, malice, we call him malice. Uh, he 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 planted these uh, yokes and. Uh, now, that was be so irresponsible, to my way of thinking, uh, that he had to be 
part of the whatever it is they could do with the like when people were starving all around and buried in mass graves because they couldn't afford a coffin. That's why you have all the mass graves. And there's a field that they were going to try to do something in near King's Bridge or near whatever they call it, Houston. And um, what they call the crappy. And there's, there's memorials there. And there was wooden ones buried there too. So um, I see these monuments in the country when I'm going particularly to the West. And the same way in, in, um, in, in different parts of the country, it happened all over. It wasn't just... Uh, but these people... Uh, with their steam engines or wherever they were at, uh, they, they, they weren't uh, bothered by it. This fellow planting things, uh, thinking about uh, earthquakes. A very peculiar, irresponsible thing to do in John Malone's idea. And then a memorial to him up in, up in Darky or Colony or somewhere. They need their head examined, to my way of thinking. John Malone? I wouldn't like to support it whatsoever. And uh, I think this malice of her father and this, that and the other just shows you. And, and a memorial to him or a statue or something. Is there a statue to him up there? There's a plaque. Or just a memorial. Huh? There's a plaque on a wall commemorating his, seism his, yeah. his, his seismic achievements. <laughs> well, uh, I think it's <laughs> it just shows you what... You know, to put in the in the in the in the chosen, if you like, the chosen ones that could do with the lake, yeah. and putting kegs and bombs or something, whatever it was, in the beach and destroying the beach. It must have took a long time for it to be put back right. Absolutely, we don't hear about that. So there we you go. Hear about that. And uh, why, why I was talking in in Colonia making a speech. It wouldn't be congratulating the like of him. I'd be saying it'd be better to spend our money looking after our starving brothers and sisters at the time of starvation at the same time, at the same time that they were doing all these things with their steam engines or uh, an engine up the hill and then freewheeling. <laughs> it's like something out of a, what would they call it? A comic cut, a space it's, age. You it's know? like, you know, it's, for me, it's like something about a roadrunner. Remember the cartoon? <laughs> well, it's it's uh, correct, and it's 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 uh, uh the, the 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 whole lot uh the business of the steam business uh, the, the train up in the top of the hill. <laughs> like to me, there you go. I think the more imagine spending money on the lake of that when was going I know, on I know, there. I know the famine at the time overshadowed things, but I think. I think it was very, very good ingenuity at the time to, to be thinking like that, you know, and I think you could tweak it in some way for, for modernism, you know, um, to fit into the modern world. I think bo both men were brilliant. R R Robert Mallet or Mallet, whatever you want to call him, he hit many, many achievements. Um, he designed lots of bridges around Ireland. He done lots of things, you know, he was um, yeah, quite, quite... Of course, I like the bridges, those, those sort of uh, bridges that have... Um... A lovely design. They're kind of um, you don't see them that much in other countries, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. We have them here. These um, humpback bridges, and and they're, they're very nice the way they're oh beautiful part part of their culture. I think I like them, and I didn't think he'd have wanted to do with it. Uh, but we did get the train service, uh, which was a great thing. But then our crowd here dismantled all these. Marvelous facilities that with every town and village um, was hard to have been able to go on the railway mm. and send our go goods as well. Uh, so that was a terrible thing to do uh, to, to sort of uh, close all these railways. And that uh, Fianna Fáil and this fella, uh, Dr. What was his name? Uh, Todd Andrews, that chap. Mm. He, he didn't matter what people objecting to it. You see, this is again. They didn't listen to the people. The people didn't want what we're doing. That's it. Repeat. Thank you very much, John. Went yeah. yeah. Thank we you. Leave it at that. Then. Leave that. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.